Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Amazon Prime Day, Target Deal Day, Walmart deals and more, Kara. What are we going to do? Smart shopping expert Trey Bodge is here with tips on how and where to get the best deals this year. Uh, thank you for being here with us. I, I think you just go online and you just switch back and forth to every website like, which one do I go to? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a little crazy. You know, the beginning of next week is going to be Amazon Prime Day, Target deal days. There's Walmart, Home Depot, Best Buy, Kohl's. It's going to be a lot. And so customers really need to take a breath and not just jump on the first sale they see. All right. So what 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 can we do to prepare to get get ready for this big sale? Yeah, so this is an interesting time because it's not like Black Friday where we have a list of holiday gifts to buy, for instance, and the sales are different as well. So you're going to see sales on things like your favorite brand of batteries or toilet paper. So it's actually a good time to make a list of the things that you use regularly that you want to stock up on because you might be able to save really nicely there. And the other thing I would recommend is... Think about things that are coming up. Do you have birthdays coming up? Maybe a wedding coming up where you need to buy a gift. These are these sales will be a great opportunity for you to plan ahead and, and tick some of those gifts off your list as well. How do you know you're getting the best deal when there are so many deals out there? Yeah. Yeah, with, with this kind of sale period, it's it's hard, right? So I have a couple of tools that I would recommend. First is a browser extension called PopCart. I recently discovered this one. And once it's installed in your computer, as you browse, it automatically lets you know if you're getting the best price where you are or elsewhere. So I mean, it takes the work out of it. And I love that. And then slickdeals.net, who I work with, they have what's called a deal alert. So if you have specific items that you want, so for instance, you've had your eye on a certain pair of earbuds or a laptop top, enter the name of that item on slickdeals.net, set a deal alert for it, and you'll automatically be alerted when that item goes on sale. So it's a great way to take the work out of finding the best deals. So, so Trey, you set the price that you want in that instance. You tell like for a laptop, if I don't want to spend more than 1200, you just go in and put 1200 and then it alerts you that it's gotten down to that price point. No. So what this does is you enter the name of the item and it lets you know when it's on sale in general, okay. not that you're getting the best price. So actually, it's a good one to punch to set the deal alert on slick deals and then also have PopCart installed. So then when you go to that sale, you'll see like, oh, I am getting the best price at Walmart versus Amazon. So I would use both things. OK, terrific. So you say we should do something right now if you're thinking of shopping at Target in the future. Yeah, so Target is offering 5% off Target gift cards through June 19th. So if you are planning to shop on Target deal days, buy one of those discounted gift cards and then shop with it and you've automatically saved yourself 5%. Now that's not a lot, but it will add to another sale at Target that you're already taking advantage of as well. And then there are a couple other things that I would recommend in terms of thinking ahead. So the folks at GigaPoints, and we've talked about them before, they help you find the best credit card for your spending habits. They suggested that if you have a credit card that gives you extra points at the grocery store, for instance, my American Express Gold gives me four points for every dollar I spend, the grocery store carries Amazon Amazon gift cards. So go to the grocery store, buy an Amazon gift card, you get the points, and then you shop with it. And so not only have you earned those points, but then you get to take advantage of the Amazon Prime Day sales as well. And then one other thing that I wanted to mention, which I, I'm such a, a supporter of small businesses, and I'm really glad that Amazon is doing this. Right now, if you have things that you want to buy on Amazon, and they happen to be from a small business, um, if you buy something that's $10 or more on Amazon from over 300,000 small businesses, Amazon will give you a $10 gift card to use on Amazon Prime Day. So I bought something the other day for $13. I got a $10 credit to use on Amazon Prime Day. Wow. So just another way to save a little bit more on Amazon Prime Day and, of course, target deal days as well. well that's fantastic. And well, just to follow up, I think we had someone on from Amazon where there's a way to filter so you know if you're only shopping small on Amazon. You can put in, like, Amazon small business. or How do you know if it's a small business? Yeah, so that's a good question. And I, I, you know, I need to check that out myself because when I was shopping, it wasn't immediately me that I was shopping at a small business. And I went back and looked and I thought there's no indication here. So if there's a filter in on their site somewhere, I am all about that because I would like to know if there's, uh, you know, there's an advantage to shopping with a small business. Something else that I would recommend too, Trey, while we're I'm talking so about it, there's another cool Oh, you are. I'll yeah, tell you about that next time. Thank you so much. But you're a wealth of information. TrueTrade.com. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs>